on, microphone, come closer. <laughs> you need to pick up our voices. Oh, so, so, at the end of the day, I, I actually put this, this whole thing that we're going through down to one thing. What? Everyone's been lazy, but they want all of the control. Except for me, who, have, who hasn't really been that lazy. Exactly. So I'm like, okay, it, it's, it, it's strange, but I'm like, everyone is being universally lazy. <laughs> because of everyone else putting the effects on you to mm. do everything, rather than them doing it themselves. So, should we give the audience context about what, what we're talking about? Of course not. Nah, we'll keep it. <laughs> Let's just say that I am trying to salvage a situation. Yes. Yeah, salvage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, with scrap metal, right? And I'm the only one doing it, so. Yeah. Scrap it's metal, weird. am I right? Yeah. Um, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. And currently, I am As Yet Undecided on whether this situation deserves so much effort from me and it's not from anyone else. Yeah, exactly. It's just, so, no. so, it's, so it's, um, well, my my thought on this is um, two words. What? Plausible deniability. Yeah, and I'm like, am I the only person taking responsibility here? Yeah, but, you know, you're putting all of the stress yeah. on yourself and it's affecting everything else. Oh, no. <laughs> am I harming myself doing this? Um, I, well, well, it depends. It, it depends on how you react to it later on, or, or on later processes, if it has affected you a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And, and, and speaking of events in the past, how was your week? Yeah, it was pretty good, thanks. Um, Dad's come back from America. Uh, I've been playing a game called Transistor. Yes. It's awesome. Oh, good. Yeah. You've heard about it? Of course I have. Um, I've done a whole lot of homework. Some of my law papers have ha, has got me no. Some of my law papers have got me reading a hundred page essays about what on earth property is. Now, now, and saying that because we, I did ring you last night and yeah. that we had to end um, our talk because you had to read those hundred pages. Yes. Did you finish those hundred pages? No, I'm on page twenty. <laughs> welcome to hell. Well, welcome to hell. Well, hopefully by the end, I can get a big enough income to, say, have three houses, five boats, and a partridge in a pear tree. Um, you can do two of them. I'm not sure about the third one. In Minecraft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craft mine. Mine stuff. Mine, mine. Like, oh, that's why they're called Minecraft, because... No one, you mine for things. And number two, it's like, myself, I craft this. Yeah. It's a pun. It's a pun. Yeah, double meaning. Yes. How was your week, Mike? Yeah, it's it's been a bit strange, like, trying to ha- have, well, w- what people call it soul searching, or, yeah. or, or as we like to call it, white meditating. <laughs> so Mike's been on a retreat. Yes. Into his room. Into my room. Yeah. I, I have been introverting a lot yes and when are you going to write a book about this no well well well, it's oh well i haven't thought about it that way but it could mean something because like we we since we are in this generation we have to care about or as i like to call it your side hustle Yeah. yeah which is it's all of those projects that you do outside of your main job that still give you an income. Oh, but yeah? Those are the core side hustles. Like selling milk powder, protein powder, I mean. Well, that, but like considering that we're doing a podcast. Yeah. I'm supposed to be writing a book. Yeah. Um, you want me to vlog my weight loss process. Yeah. So, hey, the all side hustles that could get income. Oh, yeah. I guess it's like huge introverted things like, um, Louis Thoreau, yes. a famous American writer, he fam- <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. As my family would like to say, you're overqualified. Yeah, uh, yeah. For the disabilities benefit. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, um, oh yeah, I need to take a photo of you to, with the before and after photo. Yes. And I believe you really lost a little bit of weight. A- apparently, according to you, yes. Yeah. According to Sophie. Yeah. 
And I can see why now, because the other day you sent me a video concerning about how bodybuilders build muscles and reduce fat. Now, it's, uh, well, we're talking about Kai Green, A Day in a Life. Yeah. Um, which was a very big series around about 2005. But the message that I wanted you to get across yeah. is the uh, um, ideologies behind it that you are using in the lawyer context. What do you mean? That you have... To, it, it, it's all about preparation. Yeah. So you, like Preparation and dedication. That's the two things that you really do need in a in law degree and as well, body, as well as bodybuilding, so... Yeah, so it, it, it's all about, you, you know, we, we all think about those moments, you know, in our case, like graduation. Glory. Glory. And, and, you know, those are made up of thousands and thousands of hours that you wouldn't add to your highlight reel. No. <laughs> Losing weight's the same. In fact, any, biz, any big project's the same, you know? Yeah. People only ever see the results at the end and think, oh, if only wish, if only, if only wish I'd done that, you know? If only I had, no, I wish, no, if only I'd done that. I finally got my phrasing right. It's like, what's the? Yeah. I'm a little bit tired. I've been up since 4.30 this morning. Yeah, because um, s- someone had to, pa- yeah, so, so someone had to be there for the arrival. Yeah. Pick up dad from the airport. Yeah. And it wasn't going to be mother. Oh, it was mum. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but you couldn't get there yourself, could you? Yeah, I had to get there with mum. Yeah. And so mum couldn't get there without me. Yes. So we actually had to work in tandem in order to get to the airport. Yes. Yeah. And how was mother dearest? Yeah, she's good. She's very happy now that dad's back. Yeah. Um, currently, my mother is off work at the moment. Skin infection. Skin infection. That's what happens when you work at the networks with contaminated foodstuffs. Yeah, so it's like because you're continually washing your hands yeah. all the time, so it's very easy to get infection. So it's just like, oh, poor mum. Hey, isn't that content counterintuitive though? You're supposed to be washing hands all the time to prevent infections. Yeah, you, you, but you wash it so many times that you actually cause an infection. Yes. Okay, keep that in mind, guys. Maybe we're too clean. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting thought. But, in, but anyway, um, back to Kai Green. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I, fa- I found it quite interesting how what he's doing in his video, like in regards to food, you're doing something similar as well. Like you make bulk food. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, because of my financial constraints. Yeah. That, we, that I have to adapt in certain ways. Yeah. Um, I have done... A little bit of research in regards to how to effectively do it dollar for dollar. Yeah. And because that I need to hit those certain certain macros. Yeah. Every day, um, and it's all about trying to make it not seem boring. Okay. Be- like not eating the same food every day, not eating the same sludge. Yeah, but it'll it'll convert to the same way. Oh yeah. So, like, take for instance, you, you know, you know, you you can debate between chicken breast and chicken thigh. Yeah. Right, but for me, right now, with the financial constraints, frozen chicken thighs are the best way to do it. Okay. Be, but the problem is, in regards to that, is the fat content. Fat's not necessarily bad for you, know that. Yeah, I know. I know, but if you're talking about, you know, any sort of frozen chicken good, yeah, thigh is the most effective. Yeah. So like the the uh, protein to fat ratio is two to one. Okay. In regards to chicken thigh, but in nibbles, it's one to one. Wow, that's very that's lots of fat. Yeah. Where do they get all the fat from? From the skin. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the more skin you have, the more f- fat you have. Yeah. And it's mostly um, monounsaturated, which isn't the best fat, but it's not no, not the, definitely not the worst. No, no, no. I read a National Geographic article about it. It's all right, you know. Yeah. So because of my because of my body weight, yeah, I have to hit over four hundred grams of protein a day. Wow. 
So, and if we talk about it in context, if you're doing it on a plain food, like chicken thighs, for example, I have to eat at least 13 chicken thighs a day. Oh, no. So how are you counting... Well, mind you, how are you eating so much food? Like, how are you getting so much... Mind you, you don't need that many calories, do you? Like, you can go on a calorie calorie restricted diet causing forcing your body to use your fat yeah but well, well, well that's the way i'm doing it at the moment yeah because um well i'm technically doing a clean atkins diet yeah which is high protein low carb and where's the veggies well be, well there are veggies in there yeah but they don't count towards a carbohydrate oh yeah so like you, you you know you would you would switch between um, rice and vegetables. Oh yes. Depending on the type of day it is, but for right now, I'm choosing to ignore the rice and just eating the vegetables. That's good for you. Yeah. Yes, um, and, and we'll, we're we're going to bring this up at a later point, but I want to stress that um, I am eating enough carbs. For brain function. Of course. Yes. Yeah. You see Mike's not comatose? Yeah, exactly. So it's... So you you have to hit enough carbohydrates so you won't get those headaches that are associated with having a very low carbohydrate diet or it's called a ketogenic diet where you're limiting your carbs as long as possible without giving you headaches. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, considering that I got paid today, and it's funny enough, the first of the month, so it's um, that Bone Thugs and Harmony song in real life. Yeah? I don't think you know the song. But no, sing it. No, I'm not going to sing it because I'm not the singing type, but if you look up first of the month by Bone Thugs and Harmony, it's a song essentially about welfare. Oh, really? Yes. Because in the in the US, you get your welfare checks every month on the first of the month. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I'll switch it up. Yeah. Um, but um, one interesting thing I noticed about your diet is that you seem to be drinking more liquids than eating solids. Yeah, and, and that's because I don't want to make it boring. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because like, like we were talking about before, you don't want to eat 15 chicken thighs a day, do you? No, so Mike's actually getting a, using a more calorie dense um, protein shakes in order to get hit his cal- in order to hit his protein count. Yes. Then as opposed to say just eating meat all the time. Yes, and I'm doing this um, in the most oh what's the term for it? Um, so my stomach doesn't get worn out. So like I'm I'm choosing foods that are long lasting. Oh yeah. On purpose. Long lasting, as in low GI. Yeah, well, what, well, well, because you're talking about that in a um, in a carbohydrate sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't break down as fast. Yes, but that's only in a carbohydrate sense. But if you're talking about in a protein sense, you're talking about things like nitrogen balance or um, protein um, digestibility. Um, so, like, take for instance, your normal whey protein only lasts in your system for an hour. Yeah. Um, for me, I well, my primary source of shakes, or as yeah. I like to call it, the sweet stuff. Yeah. Um, it's a fifty-fifty mix between whey and casein. Whey being the plant stuff, and casein being the cow stuff. No, no, they're, they're both cow stuff. Oh yeah. But. Um, the way it's created are both different ways. Okay. So, um, they're both milk sources, but one is primarily faster digesting than the casing. So why is that? Why is way faster? Um, well, it, it, it's all to do with the, how it reacts in your stomach. It reacts pretty quick. Okay. Um, so, like, take for instance, if you had just finished a workout, using um, whey to boost your glycogen stores would be great. Um, but 
like if you are just waking up or just going to bed and you still want to be in that anabolic state yeah as you're producing muscle yes um you need a longer lasting protein so like casein um from what i hear pork is another one um but lamb is as well it's very um it takes a lot longer to digest in your system um yeah and so that's the way i'm going about it and apparently it's working according to sophie yeah according to sophie <laughs> yeah do you like if i taste some uh yes i have a ready made shake in the fridge oh really yes just grab it out this one yes so, um, what flavor it, is it? It is um, I need for, a glass. The, for the people at home. Uh, there's a glass in, um, on top of the fridge. It's chocolate. It's, it's a mix between uh, it's one scoop of Synth 6 chocolate and two scoops of um, Grenade Hydra 6 um, half YA isolate half protein. Wow, it smells like powder, all right. Yes, it smells like powder. And it, it is just mixed with water. Not mixed with milk. It tastes like really watery hot chocolate. Pretty much. Like the like the things you get at school camp? Yes. Yeah. Horrendous memories of that, but anyway. Yeah, because like, the bad part about um, adding milk to it, Yeah. and the way I do it, because I have it very, very cold. Yeah. So it, it turns into almost um, a one of those dairy yum yogurts. Is this a yogurt? Yeah. Oh. So, so so it has the consistency of a blended yogurt when you're drinking it. So. But but it, it's like you're waiting for it to come down. <laughs> but, but I think the term is. It has a high viscosity, is that right? Yeah, eat it then. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> in a nutshell, yeah. You have to eat it then. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. But because you're on such a bit of your diet now with so, so many protein shakes and da 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 da, would you actually consider drinking, having, replacing all your food with soylent? No, no you actually, you, we, we were having our conversations as we do most days. Yeah. And you brought up Soylent. So, um, for, for the audience, yeah, can you talk about Soylent? Okay. Only this idea could have come out of the confines of San Francisco. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Not quite confines, but more like the craziness, the, hip, the hippiness, <laughs> the, innovation, the innovations of San Francisco. So, you have a tech startup guy. Uh, I didn't know. Sorry, guys. I didn't do a lot of research on this. Um. I've actually done quite a lot of research a few months back, and I've gotten a lot of details. So you have a guy, and he basically wants to become the most productive guy in the world. And he thinks that eating is a waste of time, because, you know, you're chewing food, you're swallowing, digestion takes ages if you're dealing with solid food. And if you actually have liquid food, well, you can work on your desk, just slurp on something on a straw. Digestion is faster, you have less waste... Yeah. Because you don't need to produce um, poop at the end of it. It's more, as, as according to her, more sustainable. And it's just, you know, um, more scientific. Because uh, you, get all the, you, you get all the stuff you need and none of the stuff you don't need. You know, like like pesticides, herbicides. You don't need, you don't get the cholesterol stuff, things like that. Yes. Yeah. So what he's developed was basically a protein milkshake. Except it's it's got like sugars, fats, vitamins, everything out, everything that science currently believes that you need in your body. Yes. Yeah. Um, and apparently, it tastes like cake better. Yeah, apparently. Um, so. It, it, oh, by the it, way, it's also called Soylent. It's not because it's made of humans, but because the original. <laughs> fun fact: the original story for Soylent Green has it that Soylent Green was actually made out of algae. Yes. Then they moved on to humans because they ran out of algae. Yeah. But the this soylent, the real life soylent, is also made with algae as well. But also, apparently the the old older versions have a sort of chalky taste because that's where they get their calcium from. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, would you want to be eating the same food every day? No. No. And, and that's why I have to grab it from different sources every time. And, and trying to be inventive with it. Like different flavours? But well, well, like like either different flavors, different tastes. Um, like I'm going to do something in the next couple of days and making a deconstructed sushi bowl. Deconstructed sushi? Yes. What do you mean? Like you have a bit of rice, a bit of, bit of you have a bit of rice here, a bit of seaweed there, a bit of. But what, what if you take out the seaweed, of course? So it's like one one bit has rice, one bit has meat, one bit has. Hey, this is typical. Hey, isn't that your typical bento box? Pretty much. You're making a bento, not a deconstructed sushi. Yeah, but it, it just sounds fancier, doesn't it? It sounds like I'm coming out of new market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, have you heard about my deconstructed sandwiches? <laughs> it's called whatever's in your fridge, isn't it? No, 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 no. This is what I do. I'm not too sure why, but when I was younger, this is absolutely silly. Um, I would make sandwiches about this about the size of door stoppers. They have thick as meat like th- <laughs> they have thick as like meat, lots of lettuce, um, aioli. Thick as meat, lots of lots of uh, lettuces, aioli is like so it's like stacked, right? Yes. And they end up being so big that it will topple over. So what I'll do is I'll make the sandwich, realise I can't pick it up, and then I'll eat the sandwich by tipping it over and eating the bits one by one. Oh, okay. So it's like, why did you even bother making a sandwich if you're just going to tip it over and deconstruct it anyway? Now, well, <laughs> well, in saying that, um, the, the, there are two recent examples yeah. that I can remember about this. One of them does include you. Yeah. Um, I, I was invited out to dinner with a good friend of mine. Not me. Not, not you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the other good friend. I'm sorry, okay? I'm the, uh, no, I'm the best I'm friend. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm the, so sorry. Mike, you need to have a social life outside of me. You can't be emotionally dependent on me, okay? I'm so sorry. Mike, it's okay. You're just <laughs> supposed to have friends outside of me. Otherwise, it'd be socially unhealthy. Yes. Um, so, so, we went to a burger place that, that is shutting down called Burger Queen, and they have this burger called The Beast. Yeah. Um, and it has steak, patty... And I'm like, okay, two meats, but, but two of the same meat, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, chicken breast, egg, bacon, and lettuce. Yeah. Or, or on a not a sesame seed bun. Okay. Um, and I did eat the lettuce first. Yeah. But I, I ended up eating the whole burger with minimal drippage. Ooh. But in saying that, that reminds me of the time that I did a little experiment on Sophie. Lovely. Where I went to um, Burger Fuel, yeah, and we got the mo- the biggest burger that Burger Fuel has. It's called, and it rhymes with custard. <laughs> and, and I wanted to see Sophie's interaction with this burger, yeah, because she is slightly obsessive compulsive, yeah. And do you remember that experience, Sophie? I was messy, yeah. And I was like, ah, this is all But I like I did that deliberately because I wanted to see how you would react under those sort of constraints. And how did I react? You acted a pretty, pretty better, like a lot better than I thought you were. Really? Yeah. Because I thought you were, you were going to stress out about every drip hitting the cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, what else? Why did I write liquid cheese? Liquid cheese? Yeah. Because that's what casein is. Oh, yeah, because that's the stuff in your protein powder, so you're basically drinking liquid cheese. Yeah, in, oh, a, yeah. in a nutshell. <laughs> um, it's like, like the way, I, the way I see it, it's like it's a very, very, very mild cheese. Yeah. <laughs> like, because like, like cause with most mature cheeses, that you have a lot of flavour. Yeah. In this one, you don't have any flavour. Oh, right. Yeah, like a really, really mild green stuff from the green, the green packet. Uh, or, or, or as um, I like to... Uh, I remember the, the podcast where we were talking about dinner. Yeah? The, my mother having dinner with her friends and she like, oh, I like the blue cheese. I'm like, huh? Uh-huh. The budget cheese? Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it has a blue packaging. Oh. 
Tasteless. Yes. <laughs> Rather than your... On, on most burgers, the sort of cheese is either American, smoked Swiss, or if you go into a flash place, Stilton. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Or s- cheddar. Yeah, you would cheddar or Stilton. Yeah. Which... which which yeah, it is type of cheddar. Yeah. Type of cheddar. So shall we wrap up the podcast because it's been thirty minutes and I need and we need to record another one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's what has this been like? This has been I'm not sure if we actually have been undecided on this. Oh. <laughs> have we been undecided? I don't think we have this time. Uh yeah, we kinda of have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can contact me on the minus T H E M A R N U S on all social platforms, Sophie. I am Sophie nine seven oh nine on all social media platforms apart from Instagram. And you may contact the podcast itself on as the underside podcast at gmail dot com or we are AYU. Yeah, AYU. Yeah. Yeah. AYU podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good week guys. You too guys. Sorry about the hurry. It's okay.